Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts, where I do crafts in my pajamas. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who congratulated Zach and I on our engagement. We are super excited. I wanted to show you some things that I got from Arteza and how I use them today. Um, this is actually a roll um, of peel and stick chalkboard. It's like a chalkboard sticker there you go mm -hmm. um so you so what i did was i just opened up the box and this like i said it's peel and stick so almost like contact paper i just um oh and these came with it too um and these are just little pieces of chalk and i show you the different colors here um it came with white and then just a few other colors but i'm going to be showing you how i use the chalk markers today or how they worked um but as you can see, they have some really nice little pretty colors in there, kind of subtle greens and oranges and things like that, pink and red, blue. Um, but that board down there that I'm going to be putting the chalkboard paper on or sticker on is actually a piece of wood from my dad that he brought me from his work. He always has scrap pieces of wood that he brings me and it's really nice and smooth. So I just decided to use that. This is actually made to be able to go on the wall, but unfortunately I live in an apartment and we, are, we aren't we are able to put things on the wall like <laughs> chalkboard stickers. So I wanted to show you how I used it just on the board. So this is repositionable, which is awesome <laughs> because I put it on so crooked, you guys. You can see right here. I actually did that like twice till I got it <laughs> actually straight on there. Um... But what I did is I just kind of peeled back the paper um, on the second half. And that part went on really smoothly. You can see here I kind of pulled away. You can see all of the bubbles from where I just placed it down. But then when I peeled away the sticker or the backing, that part went on really smoothly. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have a towel on my head. And I did not realize you're going to see that in the picture. Like I was letting my hair dry for a little bit. All right, in the video. I don't know what I'm saying. It's still early in the morning. But anyway, you guys know me, <laughs> real life here. So mm -hmm. my hair is in a towel. But anyway, since this is so awesome and repositionable, I was able to just pull it back up on that half. When I laid it back down, it was so much smoother with no bubbles. And I did go ahead and take a, an old credit card and just try to... Um, kind of make sure there's no bubbles and that's when my camera fell on the floor when you saw the ceiling <laughs> um but then I also have these little um pieces of like trim scrap wood that my dad brought me from his work as well he is always saving me all the wood that I need which is really really nice but if you guys don't have something like this you could use some paint stirring sticks and it's super easy <laughs> are you helping mommy yeah, that's fun, isn't it? That's so fun. That's so fun. So I took these outside, cut them down to size, used my electric sander to smooth them down, and then I used this, the Minwax stain in the color Honey to stain these, and I just used a paper towel, um, but sorry about the lighting here when I brought it back inside. It was kind of dark and I'm just using my phone. So, and I'm definitely not a professional at editing or anything, but you can still see what I'm doing. So I just used some wood glue to put this down. I'm sure you could use E6000 or something like that. But since I have wood glue, why not use it for wood? So, um, I was so upset when I realized that I did not cut these to the perfect length so I had like a little gap at the top but no worries I am resourceful I just went ahead and added like a bow and some greenery to that corner to fill in the little gaps um but yeah so I just glued these down and I think it was already coming together and looking cute if you do um if you do cut yours correctly like perfectly to size you could just leave it just like this I think it would be so cute already just with the wood frame but like I said I did go ahead and add um, a bow and some greenery now you guys I'm just gonna warn you 
right now that I am no artist. I am no chalk artist at all. So, um, but I did want to show you how I used the chalk, chalk markers that they sent me. There's 42 colors and then it also comes with um, replaceable tips. So basically you can pull out the tip that's in there. It comes with these little tweezers. Um, and then all of the tips are double sided too, even the one that's in there. Um, so that is really cool. So there's um, like four different kinds of tips. And then it also came with the little chalkboard labels, the peel and stick labels. And then these are the tips. Now the package said that it came with um, two stencils. So here's me like pulling out every single thing in the box. So at least you get to see all the beautiful colors. But I'm looking for those stencils. Come to find out they were in the little package with the um, <laughs> with the labels. But anyway, um, here you go. You can see all the pretty colors. Um, this just reminds me of a time when I was a little girl and I found out that there was like my parents told me there was like pig hoof or some pig in toothpaste it's like pig hoof or something like that and I apparently was squirting out all of the toothpaste onto the counter when my brother came in he was like Sarah what are you doing and I was looking for the pig you guys oh my gosh but that just reminded me of that because I don't know why random story off topic okay so here I'm just drawing my pumpkin best I know how I used a brown um um oh my gosh a brown chalk marker for the stem but then I wanted it to be a little bit lighter so I went back in with that original color it's not actually white it looks white on the camera but it's actually like kind of like almost a peach color it was a really pretty color in person hopefully maybe you can see it a little better in the final picture at the end but as you saw there I just um, switched out the tip because it was thin and I want it to be thicker lines so that's really really cool I've never seen that before I've never really had chalk markers before though <laughs> except for like one giant one when we did our baby announcement but I think these wrote really nicely and easily on the chalkboard and I think it was so pretty you're gonna see me later I end up um going in what happened was I tried to use a stencil and then I got impatient like with my letters because I didn't want to wait for them to dry so I just decided to freehand it which is probably not the best idea because my freehanding is garbage but I still think it came out cute I decided to make it look a little bit messy so what I did was I just um used my finger and kind of tapped along the areas that were still wet and made it a little bit smeared and messy. You guys tell me if that looked worse or better, but I think it came out cute since I like everything rustic and distressed. I just went ahead and did that, but I'm just going to speed it up here for you guys. You can see what I did, um, but I do think it came out really cute. You guys let me know down in the comments below, what's your favorite fall to tradition like do you guys carve pumpkins do you paint them we're probably going to do pumpkin painting this year um, we usually do carving and we just end up doing the whole thing ourselves because they're so hard to carve the big ones and um, it's so messy and then the pumpkin just rots and all its insides fall out before we even notice um, <laughs> so I think this time we're just going to paint our pumpkins, so that should be a fun new tradition. And then this is going to be Bree's first year trick-or-treating too. I'm so excited for her costume. We did put her in a little pumpkin costume last time, uh, last year, but she was so tiny. Like, we just put her in there, like, for a minute to take the pictures, and then she was like, why am I in here? And this hat is falling over my face, um... <laughs> I'll insert a picture if I can. <laughs> um, it was really cute, but then we just took her out of it. We just put her in there to take a picture, but this year she's going to go trick-or-treating for the first time, so that's going to be exciting. Um, and what else do we do? I don't know, but let me know down in the comments what's your um, favorite fall tradition, if you guys have any ideas for us to try, too. We like to sometimes do some crafts. We definitely do crafts around Christmas time and make 
ornaments and things like that. Um, a few years ago, we did a craft together as a family with um, some leaves in a jar, like with um, like a glowing tea light through it. And oh my gosh, that was kind of a fail. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite fall tradition? And then also, do you prefer, if you have done one or the other, do you prefer um, carving pumpkins or painting them? Let me know. And then I'm trying to show you right here just in case you haven't seen how to make a twine bow. It's really easy. You just wrap the twine around your fingers and then tie it off in the middle to make your bow. And then you can cut off the excess from the strings. Um, this where I was trying to decide. It took me a little while to figure out how to cover up that little gap and make it look good. But I just had some lambs here that I finally found at my Walmart, which I'm super excited about. I got a few bunches. Um, but I just put a bunch of lamb's ear on there, and then um, I was going to put the bow just like this, but then I did go ahead and rip it back off because I didn't like how it looked, and I could still see the edge of the board, which I was not loving. So I added more lamb's ear, and then I went ahead and made another little bow with some burlap that I have from Walmart. And I just went ahead and cut off the one edge because I don't like how it has the like the seam there. And then I did go ahead and cut it down the middle because I wanted my bow to be a little bit smaller than what I had here. And then I just go ahead and fold it in thirds and tie that in the middle. And that's how we make this bow. And I glued that on and then I glued my little um, twine bow right on top of that. And I think that was like the perfect look or at least for me I thought it was so cute I really really love how this turned out but um let me let me know if you guys think it's too messy or what I could have done better f other than just practicing my handwriting and um writing on chalkboards let me know um if you know any tips or anything like that for chalkboard art other than just practicing and then also um I got these little, uh, like, they're like fairy lights, but not fairy lights because they're like leaves, fall leaves, but I got <laughs> these little lights from Dollar Tree, and I just put those over the top, and I think it added the perfect touch. Um, the It wasn't coming per out perfect in the picture, like the lighting, you can't, you know, it just doesn't do it justice with the the little fall lights. Um, like the color of them but they're absolutely beautiful they just glow so beautifully and I was really impressed because I've never had any lights on a string like that from Dollar Tree and I've never even seen them before until um, this year so I just thought they were so beautiful um, but let me know what you guys think oh my goodness that's my coffee maker <laughs> I'm not even having coffee I just made hot water for tea but here are the lights, but let me know what you guys think about how this turned out, if you liked it or not, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.